Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Paint app over the last couple of months in Windows 11 has been receiving quite a lot of love and attention from Microsoft. So after lying quite dormant for many years in the OS, and Microsoft has been rolling out some significant key changes. And as I have been posting recently, some of those were the new scented canvas and the background removal tool, which are two new features in the Paint app currently being tested in the Insider program, which I actually find quite useful. Now, over and above this, um, on the 18th, which was late yesterday in my region, Microsoft is also rolling out another update for the Paint app to Windows Insiders in the Canary and Dev channels, version 11.2308.18, Point zero or higher and with this a new update they are introducing some more so-called photoshop features where they are now introducing support for layers and transparency so uh, two more key features rolling out now how this is all going to work microsoft says if we just head over to some images provided from that announcement you can now add remove and manage layers on the canvas to create richer and more complex digital art. So with layers, you can stack shapes, text, and other images, image elements on top of each other, which I think is a nice improvement. So how this is all going to work, if we have a look at the screenshot provided, yeah, at the um, top of the image, we can see the new layers. So you can click on the new layers button in the toolbar, which Microsoft says will open a panel on the side of the canvas, as we can see. This is where you can add new layers on the canvas. So you can try changing the order of layers uh, in this panel to see how the order of the stacked image elements on the canvas changes. And you can also show or hide duplicate individual layers or merge layers uh, all together. So as you can see, those are all the options that will be available here to the right-hand side in this new layers side panel when you click on that button in the top right of the toolbar. Now moving on, uh, Microsoft says they are also adding support for transparency as well so including this includes the ability to open and save transparent pngs and when working with a single layer you will notice a checkboard pattern on the canvas indicating the portions of the image that are transparent erasing any content from the canvas and um, now apparently microsoft says truly erases the content instead of painting the area white which I think is a nice improvement and has been a long time coming. They mentioned that when working with multiple layers, if you erase content on one layer, you will reveal the content in layers underneath. And this image has just given us a brief example of what that is all about. And then over and above that, um, combining layers, transparency, and other tools uh, in Paint, there's also another new announcement just to mention quickly for the purpose of this video. And I posted about... Um, a couple of weeks ago in the middle of August that the Paint app could be getting new AR features and um, artificial intelligence features and this applies to Paint Photos, Snipping Tool, Camera Apps uh, on Windows 11 and I'll leave a link to that video down below. But uh, just to let you know now and as spotted once again by the Windows enthusiast Phantom Ocean 3, um, he has found some code um, uh, in this latest Paint app version 11.2308.18.0 that uh, are at this stage seeming to indicate that there's an AR image generation feature, as I have posted previously, coming um, to the Paint app called Co-Creator. Now, at this stage, there's not too much known about this because this could be code that Microsoft is working on internally, but I'm just mentioning it uh, for the purpose of this video because, obviously, um, over and above these important, um, the centered canvas, the background removal tool, the combining the layers and all those transparency effects and other tools that Microsoft has rolled out recently to paint in the Insider program. Um, getting AR features in the future might be a nice move forward when it comes to paint, but obviously I'm keeping a close eye on this one and just wanted to keep you in the loop. But nonetheless, um, that Paint App update is now rolling out to um, Canary and Dev Channel Insiders that add support for layers and transparency uh, in the Insider program. And as I think there will be a good chance that these Paint app features, as I have been posting on, are going to make their way into the 23H2 feature update um, because they are currently being tested uh, in the dev channel. And some of those dev channel features, I do personally think we will find rolling out uh, to uh, the 23H2 feature update that's going to be rolling out shortly. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.